All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and the dual Dokkan festival is live for uh, the transforming Gotenks and the exchange version of Majin Buu. Now, I would say the banners are actually quite good. Um, both banners are very solid. I'll just talk about Gotenks' banner real quick before we hop into his event. I usually do this. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed here. Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Piccolo, I mean, Trunks, Gogeta, then these two Gotenks is at the end. This is a really good banner. Um, the only thing is, I know it's Golden Week. It's a dual Dokkan festival. It's incredibly difficult not to summon. But honestly, Gotenks, his leader skill is fodder to the extreme. The um, special pose category. Let me let me take a look at it real quick. Real quick before we hop in. Um, no. Okay, it's super. Okay, okay, okay. Let me pull up the special pose category. Because it, it's just a real shame. It is a real shame. That this is what they decided to go with. Okay, it is... I think it's this one. Is that it? No, that's Team Bardock. Uh... That's Peppy Gal's youth. Oh, I might... I, I think it's one of these. That's the one we just looked at. And I think the next one is... Ginyu. What's this one? Is this it? That's World Tournament. Oh! I don't know, because I think this is Target Goku. Oh, this might be it right here. Yeah, okay, here it is. Um, yeah, look at this. Like, it's not... Like, you got the new Gotenks, which is cool, but, like, dude, I... <laughs> Gotenks and Ginyu, the category, and then, like, God Topo is nice. I mean, I do have 80... Well, okay, I've got 84 units, because I've got a Baba bunch after summons, but... This just is not really that good. Um, Gotenks' leader skill is really not great. So I just don't really recommend it, um, summoning on these banners. Because both units are super good, but they're not, like, top-tier leader units. I mean, Boo definitely has a better leader skill than Gotenks. So maybe Boo would be a little bit better to summon for. Um, we got the new Sage. Again, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Um, looks like he's weak to Piccolo. Interesting. Piccolo and Super Boo. I guess that makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I remember LR Piccolo used to be real good for the Gotenks event back in the day. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So Piccolo and Boo units are definitely who you want to bring here. Um. Only Super Boo, though. I wonder if this event is going to be super long. Oh, interesting. Okay. So three phases, and then he could start doing a bunch of different stuff. Okay. Um. Of course, we have the Gotenks, the Goten and Trunks, who are amazing. And then all the old Gotenks units who awaken from this event. 500 different units awaken from this event. So let's go ahead and hop in. Um, we're going to use a villain sort of exchange uh, team here. Wait, did I just make one? Yeah, okay, yeah, here it is. Um, we're like villain sort of transforming slash exchange team. Oh, we're in the hyperbolic time chamber. Nice. Uh, I think this is the first Dokkan event that's actually in the time chamber. Very good. I wonder if we'll have Boo. Boo's fight will probably be in the time chamber as well. Awesome. Because I love the ba the Dokkan background for the time chamber here. It looks great. It looks like Budokai 1. If you guys... Or, no, no, no. Am I thinking of Budokai 2? I think I'm thinking of Budokai 2, actually. Um, in Budokai 2... I, I can't remember which one. But in one of the Budokais, the time chamber looks... So oh, it's different! This is a new background. The time chamber background looks different. Uh, it, you, you could do it in the Trunks event. It looks different. This is a brand new background that they just added to the game. This is brand new. That's cool. All right, so we're starting out against LR Trunks and Goten here. I'm not really too concerned. I wonder if by the time we get the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, we'll move out of the time chamber and we'll just be fighting like in the plains. I, I assume that's probably what will happen, right? Um, remember, by the way, that Trunks and Goten were added to the Fusion category team. I will be doing a video um, on LR Trunks and Goten on the Fusion category team, of course. Oh, you know, one thing I do... Wow, Frieza one-shot at him. Uh, okay, so they're going to go ahead and fuse. And then base form Gotenks. Yep, okay. Um, I want to point something out with transforming Frieza, by the way. I mean, everyone has already long since noticed this by now. But transforming Frieza, they did update his art, by the way. They added that aura to his first form. I don't really understand why. Because his other forms don't have it. Why not give it to his other forms? Right? Like, the first form looks great with that new aura, but then none of the others have it? It's bizarre. I don't understand. 
Um, okay, Broly is probably just going to demolish Gotenks right here. So far, this event seems super easy. Um, we'll see if, like, once he, you know, starts doing whatever rotating phase it looked like he starts doing, uh, if he's going to become a little bit more difficult to stop, but I'm not really too concerned here. Um, Dokkan events are ridiculously easy. Although, you know, both Gotenks and Boo are not... Oh, yeah, there's only one enemy. I was like, he only supered once, but there's, there's only one enemy. Um... Both Gotenks and Boo can't transform into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and wh what's the other one? Uh, what's his name, respectively? Why can Cooler use his active skill? Oh, Gotenks is on high retention. Okay. I'm getting all mixed up. First, I was like, why is Cooler able to use his active skill? Because Gotenks is, yeah, I I'm stupid, never mind. Never mind me, because Gotenks is on Hybrid Saiyans, the way Vegito and Gogeta and then them should be on Pure Saiyans. That's why Cooler can use his active skill. Whoops! <laughs> For a second, I was so confused. I was like, what? All right, whatever. Uh, I do have Nappa and Vegeta here, by the way. Um, I would like to give them a, you know, some turns, but you know, this Frieza and Cooler rotation is just going to be way, way too good. Um, you know, between, uh, Cell and then Nappa and Vegeta, like, if we fall to low HP for whatever reason from this Gotenks at any point, we're just gonna absolutely demolish him. Um, you know, we're gonna get the heals and then the transformations, exchanges, all that stuff. So he goes right from base to Super Saiyan 3. Okay. And now I'm gonna be curious if we're out of the time chamber now for this. I would assume so, but let's see. Uh, alright, <laughs> well... Well, okay, let's see if this Gotenks has impressive defense or not. Um, I think I will use Broly's active skill. We're st no, we're outside. We're, we're on Kami's lookout. I think this is the first time Kami's lookout is used, actually. I can't think of a single fight ever in front of this background. This is a new background as well. I'm actually pretty impressed. Dokkan is definitely putting in effort for sure. I'm going to use Broly's active skill right here. Um, because I'm pretty sure Gotenks will be able to completely neutralize it, but let's see, right? Um, if we take a lot of damage, uh, you know, Nappa and Vegeta should be able to heal us up coming up soon. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get a super attack with Cell, though. Um, you know, this rotation is not really great, uh, in terms of key. I probably will leave Vegeta and Nappa maybe with Broly, we'll see. Um, by the way, Gotenks attacks a lot. He's attacking, like, nine times or something like that. Do you see that? All right, I mean that's good. You know, uh, really, I don't, I don't want them to make Dokkan events harder. I just want them to make them longer. I want the Dokkan events to actually last longer. That's what I want. So you know, so that way we can actually use these transformations and stuff like this. Okay, Gotenks ate that like a champion. Actually, he has a lot of health because Broly, what came with his A game right there, and uh, Gotenks ate that up. I mean, Broly, yeah, Broly didn't even knock off half of his health. This, the animation is so good. The animations just continue to improve. Like, like they just look so good. Um, Dokkan is just GOAT, man. I, I, I really, I, at first I was a little bit down on Golden Week earlier today, but like I've thought about it more and I feel like the celebration is not too bad, right? It, it's a good celebration. Uh, nothing really too awful or anything like that. All right. Can we finish off Gotenks? Uh, before he even does his transformation shenanigans, we'll see. Um, obviously, I mean, LR Tech Broly absolutely demolished this man. But remember that Cooler is going to be guaranteed critting. So, I feel like we're going to finish Gotenks off before he's even going to, you know, do whatever shenanigans he does. I assume he'll swap between Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan, and then maybe base. Because that, that's what he does in the earlier events, right? Okay, looks like he is going to survive. If Cooler had triple supered, we could have finished him off here. Whoops. <laughs> I dropped, dropped my phone. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Yeah, please connect. No, we're missing Gotenks' super attack animation. Damn it. All right, there we go. Yep, all right, it's connected. And Frieza took 155k, but that's not enough. You know what? I'm just going to do this. We're going to see. Oh, whoops. We're <laughs> okay, well, we, we saw that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just going to do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I dropped my phone. I, I dropped it in the cord, disconnected. But we've got to see 
that Gotenks animation as much as possible, man. Like, that animation looks so sick. And, again, it takes seven turns to transform into that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So you're not going to see him very often. Like, don't fall in love with that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Like, if you're a free-to-play player, don't think to yourself, that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is so powerful, I must have him. Because you're almost never going to see him. So I, I don't think... Like, if you really want Gotenks, you should want him for his base form and his Super Saiyan form. Because those you're going to see in all the different modes. Um, but again, his leader skill is also pretty fodder as well. Um, his category is not great. It's all very disappointing. Um, our health is really good, by the way, considering most of the units on here are only getting 120% from Zamasu. And not even a full category leader skill. Like, Frieza ate that super attack. And we're not even going to exchange with Vegeta and Nappa next turn. Like, that's just so nuts. Um, plus, we have a lot of healing units on here, right? Like, the Zamasu's heal. Um, you know, if we do lose a lot of health, Cell and then would heal. Okay, so he goes into Super Saiyan Gotenks. So, I feel like, again, I feel like he could go into Super Saiyan Gotenks or he could go into... What's his name? Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use all these active skills. Let's just take advantage of them while we can. Um, and Merge Zamasu probably could finish this Gotenks off. Um, we don't get... Uh, it's not too often that you get a chance to use Merge Zamasu's active skill, so I'm going to take it. Um, plus, this is a really bad rotation in terms of key links. So, you know, I want Merge Zamasu to do this so I can guarantee super attack with him. Hopefully, he'll get some crits or something like that. Um, and we will go ahead and finish this Gotenks off right here. Because now, uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing around too much and we're just sitting, sitting in this event way too long. Yeah, okay. Well, at least Merge Zamasu will get a super attack. All right, so let's go ahead and see. I would not mind seeing this Gotenks' uh, Super Attack animation either, actually. Because um, it's really good. Uh, but, of course, Na we use Nappa's active skill, so we can't be touched. I love... That unit is so versatile. The the healing exchange, the 100% dodging active skill. Like, just so many interesting and unique abilities that that Nappa and Vegeta unit have. I, I just lo I adore that unit. They're really good. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Gotenks is hanging in there like a champ. Ooh. Zamasu, okay, okay. I got a little bit scared for a second because Zamasu was taking a lot of damage. I was like, uh-oh, did I just mess up? No, I did not. All right, let's get the super attack with Frieza because this is a super rare uh, super attack animation. I believe this final form of transforming Frieza right here, this is the only character in the game that has this as a super attack animation. So in a lot of these videos, if I could get these extra animations, I would love to do it. Um, I also am very pleased that both backgrounds for these, this fight appeared to be new, right? Uh, in front of Kami's Lookout and then that Time Chamber background, both were new. If you guys go back to, like, the Goku and Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks Extreme Z area and then the uh, Future Trunks story event, um, the, the Time Chamber background is different than the one that we just saw in this Gotenks boss fight. So, that's really cool. Um, Alright, the grind for these medals begins. There's a lot of units I have to awaken with those medals. Um, again, I would kind of recommend skipping this banner just because Gotenks isn't really the greatest um, as far as his leader skill goes. You guys let me know what you decide to do. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.